What's that fucking urgent that couldn't wait? It's Zane. What of him? He's a rat. No fucking way, not Zane. I didn't want to believe myself, boss. But it's the cameras. They don't lie. See for yourself. What's going on here? What the fuck's going on, fellas? After all the shit we've been through. Dan, I'm sorry, mate. I had no choice. Let me by the fucking balls. Oh, man, you were like a brother to me. I trusted you with my life. And this is how you pay me back. I'm looking at fucking 40 years. What choice? Save it. Tomorrow at camp. Midday. And no fucking gun. Okay. Oh, you're going to get the, um, the safety switch? Yeah, we're going to get the <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at James's car. Wow. This must be nice to have money. Those two always seem to have landed on their feet. Save it! Oh, man, you were like a brother to Look me. Look at me fucking 40 years! I bought these from Jacques at our local patisserie. They're just divine. And I brought plenty of beer. So tuck in, boys and girls. Did you see that? Hey, I got a Chateau where Pichonette 85. Oh, very nice. Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> I just baked this cake this morning. Oh, that's lovely, oh, Josie. Very nice. nice. I brought this one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That is a great looking cake. <laughs> I can't believe it's been three years since our last catch up. I, here's to 20 years. Oh. Of great friendship. Oh, Absolutely. Cheers. 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 Cheers, boys and girls. Cheers, cheers. Very nice. Julie, you look mm. so tanned. <laughs> oh, is it real? Oh, of course. Oh, I just got back from Bora Bora. It's a little island near Tahiti. It's just amazing. Oh, wow. Stayed there one week while James attended a conference in Orlando. <laughs> oh, you're so lucky. Simon's still unemployed, so we haven't been able to take a holiday for a while. Oh. We could really use a break. Yeah, it's pretty tough at the moment. We used to always go to that little um, caravan park on Queenscliff. You remember that, sweetheart? Oh, 
shit, I miss that place. So, how about you, Michael? How's the carpet business? Yeah, look, not too bad, actually. You know, uh, it was a bit rough for a while when you know, everyone was buying floorboards. It was the in thing, but mm. it's coming good now. You should come in and check out mm. our new range. It's beautiful. beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Really good stuff. And we have floorboards at our house, don't we, darling? We do. I just prefer them. Carpets tend to smell and always leave dirty spots. I like carpet. I'm always lying on the floor. No wonder with the amount of beer you drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. If my memory serves me correctly, Back in school, you guys weren't exactly slouches in the beer drinking department. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Josie, could you cut me a slice of Julie's cake there, please? We must be deep in the valley because I can't get a reception here at all. Darling, would you leave your finances alone for once in your life? What's that noise? It sounds like a helicopter. Right, how do you guys want your fillet steak cooked? Ooh la la, look, fillet steak. Um, I've got my uh, pork snags, mate. Yeah? That's for it. Oh, yeah. actually, put one aside for me later, just in case, thanks very much. I'll have mine well done, thanks, mate. Yeah, me too, black both sides, thanks. Right. That noise has stopped. Yeah, I thought it sounded like a Harley or something. Who's that over there? Shit, is that some bloke with Kelly's ball? Kelly, come here. But my ball. I said now. But mom. I said now. Here you go, little girl. What do you say, Kelly? Thank you, mister. Oh, you're more than welcome, little lady. So how are you folks doing? Enjoying the great outdoors? I'm here to meet an honest and loyal friend of mine. Haven't seen anyone else per chance. What, out here in the middle of nowhere? Well, well, I wouldn't think so, not just at present. Well, that's very unfortunate. Go and play away from the table. No, I said now. Sweet little thing, ain't she? Watch out for snakes and don't go too far. Well, if you see them, tell them Danny's looking for him. Hey, Blondie, I know you. Excuse me? So, what are you fags doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Look, mate, we're kind of busy here, if you don't mind. Oh, that's cool. Just a friendly chat to pass the time. You don't mind, do you? The guys are high school friends. We're celebrating 20 years of friendship. Oh, well, good to see you all get on so well. True friendship's so important these days. Honesty. Loyalty. Let's toast to friendship and honesty. Sir, I don't mean to be rude, but if there's nothing else... No, there's nothing else. So, butter buns, what's your story? Jesus. 
please. Okay, my friend, this is actually a private party and we'd just like to be left alone, if you, if you don't mind. I love this spot, don't you? So quiet, so desolate. Just us and nature. Breathe in that air. Something smells good. Smells like meat. Hey, now look, that, that's Shh. enough. Oh, that was weird. Oh. Yeah, I know. He's in this spot too. I mean, what the hell's he doing all the way out here? Met a friend or something. Why here? Keep walking, mate. Just keep walking. Shit, where's Kelly gone? Oh my god. Kelly! Kelly! Kelly, Kelly where are you? Kelly! 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 Thank God, get back here. I said not to go far. No, it's just over there. Well, stay where I can see you. Thank God. Jeez, I reckon I need a drink now. I've got to say, I'm glad that weirdo's gone. <laughs> yeah, me too. He was a creep. Did you see the way he was looking me over? Yeah, if he didn't have them out on display. He still could have said something, honey. Oh, don't worry. If I'd have touched it, it'd have been a different story. Look, just... Of course. Ladies, chillax. You're in the company of three strong men, okay? Really? That guy really did scare me, though, F for a while. Is that him I can see over there? I think he's looking for his friend. What if he went to get a gun? A gun? Yes. Calm down, you've been watching too many movies. This is not cool, man. This is really not cool. What are we gonna do? Oh, for fuck's oh. sake, he's coming back. Oh, all this is just starting to make me feel really sick. I just, I wish you would just go. Just relax, all right? Just nobody say anything or do anything. Just, just do as he says, right? And avoid eye contact. Boy, am I famished. You don't mind, do you? Put your hand up if you fucking miss me! <laughs> ah, that's some piece of me. Help yourself. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Now that's an expensive looking car. Are you an important man? You must be some kind of VIP. Wow. I'm a builder, actually. I'd love a car like that. Them your keys. <coughs> Say you're a builder. What exactly is it that you build? Well, I, I develop unit blocks. And oh, things. so you're not actually a builder. You're just a pin pusher. Well, there's a little bit more to it than that. I've actually developed some of the biggest... Now, you butterbuns. What's your story? How long does it take you to get ready every morning? We do something. I'll bet it takes you ages. And what do you do every morning while Jane's here pushes that little pin of his? I'm sorry. I wasn't aware I was under any obligation to carry out any conversation with you. Okay, mate. I think you've actually just turned... James! Open your eyes, man. You're no oil painting. Oh, look at her. You don't know me. <laughs> oh, but I do, butter buns. I do. And what is it you think you know? Oh, strap yourself in. You were raised in the city. You went to an all-girls private school. You drank skinny soy latte, chardonnays and sweet cocktails. You have a personal trainer, regular massages and manicures. 
You drive a black four-wheel drive. Probably a Porsche. And you lunch daily with your circle of pretentious friends and complain how dull and boring your life is. You spend your husband's money on fashion items and meaningless shit, leaving you just enough time for some afternoon delight in a hotel suite. <clears throat> so how'd I do so far? Bang on the money. Just shut up! Julie? Is there anything I need to know? Of course not, don't you? You're ridiculous, he doesn't know me. To the flagpole. Let us salute the flag of awkwardness. You show no feelings, no tenderness, and you've got no idea how to treat a woman. All you care about is money. It's always money, money, money. How could you, Julie? How could you do that to oh, Jess? Well, shut up and keep eating. What did you say? Well, you heard me. You should be ashamed of yourself. Always eating like there's no tomorrow. I feel sorry for Kelly with you as a role model. You think you're any better with your plastic boobs and your fake tan? Just afraid to have a child so you don't lose your precious figure. Always wallowing in narcissism. You're pretending to be so nice. Oh, it's because of you that I didn't want to have a child after seeing your body and what you turned into. Look, just stop it, all right? Jesus. We came out here as friends to enjoy the day. And I think it's time you left, Danny. You've caused enough bloody damage, mate. Oh, now, peachy pie. Anyone tell you you had beautiful eyes? Now, you smell good. What keeps you busy, picklehead? Not much. I'm currently unemployed. And when you weren't unemployed? Well, I used to work in a bucket factory. A oh, bucket factory! Now, I've always found the production of buckets very interesting. I would like to know more. Oh, well, um, I was in charge of uh, keeping the mild temperature controllers at the correct levels, and uh, I, I was the one that made sure that each bucket was pressed correctly. Oh, and how did you lose your job exactly? He blew up the machine. Ho 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 ho! Bucket man! I knew we had something in common. What explosives did you use? Not like that. I, the temperature got too high on a couple of occasions and um, all the boilers blew up. Admiration's red. You must be very proud of your bucket man. And are you happy with your life now, bucket man? Could be better. Of course it could. Just imagine, you could have been bucket assistant manager by now. Ah, wouldn't that have been something? Well, he's been unemployed for six months. Now he just sits at home and watches the cricket. And what is it that you do, Danny, that makes you so important and special? Sell drugs to children or steal pension checks? Oh, the lady has a voice. In answer to your question, my dear lady, I'm the National Club President for the Confederates of Australia. What is that exactly? <coughs> OK, I think this is enough. I'm sure a man of your importance has to be somewhere else. We don't want to hold you up. All right, Danny. No, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you to leave before I really get upset. I sense hostility in your voice, Michael. So, Mummy, tell me, when did the excess softness start to creep up on you? Mean. He's saying I'm fat. Just an obvious observation. What a thing to say. Well, Butterbuns over there hasn't put on any weight. But you certainly have. She's never given birth. Michael. So tell me, Lauren, 
When do you think you lose the excess fat? Let me tell you point blank. Never. Just who the fuck do you think you are, man? Huh? Michael, you're right. I did not mean to sound disparaging. I apologise for my guileless comment. It's okay. I know I'm fat. Oh, relax, Annie Wilkes. At least you have a beautiful daughter and a strong husband. So you're pretty well built. You must work out. Are you strong, Michael? Are you a tough guy? You bet your ass I am. And if you don't fuck off soon, you'll find out just how fucking tough I really am. Really? I hope to see that, Michael. How do you rate yourself on the tough scale? Let's put it to a little test, shall we? I'll give you these hundred dollar bills. There's at least ten of them there. All you have to do is take a swing at me. Come on, Michael. You're a tough guy. Make your wife proud. Show your friends how tough you really are. Go on. Take a swing. Smash my skull in. Show us how tough you really are. I'll even get down on my knees. A thousand bucks! I won't even hit your back! Come on, you got nothing to lose! Come on, tough guy! Hit him! Hit the son of a bitch, Michael! Hit him! Yeah, hit me! Go on! I won't touch you and the money's yours! It's a win-win for you! Leave him alone, you low life! Leave us alone! We don't want you here! We don't want your filthy money! Like your little lady has more balls than you have, Michael. Not even worth it. <laughs> you disappoint me, tough guy. Hey, Bucket Man, tell me something. You all went to the same school, you're about the same age, yet your careers are vastly different. Was it your lifelong dream to be a bucket man? This is a don't call me bucket man! You... Now, of course, it wasn't my lifelong dream, all right? It just it, it panned out that way. Oh, what was your lifelong dream, picklehead? To be an architect. And why did you not pursue your chosen career? Well, I don't know. It just kind of, it happened that way. Well, there must have been a turning point. There must have been some point in your life when you said, I can't be an architect. When was that? Hmm. Actually, I do remember you. Remember what you said James told you? James? This James? Big time pen pusher, James. Yes, sitting there half pissed. This James. He pointed out to me how statistically only 8% made it and I didn't stand a chance. So you mean to tell me that you took your lifelong dream and you threw it in the trash because of soulless James there? He was trying to help me. Help you? Help you, Simon? Simon, you know what you should have said? No, what? You should have said, God damn it, James. I'm going to be the best architect there is. You should have said, fuck you, James. I'm going to design the best houses, the best skyscrapers, and the best fucking buildings. That's what you should have said. There's your 15-second turning point. One life, one comment, and now, my friend, one big bucket of shit. And you're all friends, right? And that's what really matters, true friendship. No man can break that. Listen, <laughs> it's party time. Farewell, my friends. It's been a pleasure meeting you all. And I thank you for your warm hospitality.